So where exactly does the medicine Jelenia fit into the MS landscape? Don't turn away because I'm going to answer that question starting right now. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. A few months back, I made a YouTube video entitled Making an Informed Decision, a Guide to MS Treatment Styles. Now, if you missed that video, don't sweat it. I'll throw a card right here so you can check it out later. In a quick nutshell, that video discussed various treatment styles that MS neurologists apply when using the MS medicines to treat patients. Now, when I say treatment style, I don't mean, are you a snappy dresser? I mean the order that the doctor uses the medicines. And as I discussed in that video, there are a lot of different treatment styles. The most commonly used style throughout the world is one called the escalation model. And today, I was asked a provocative question about the escalation model by a viewer named Vlad. So Vlad writes, hi Aaron, well howdy Vlad. Would you possibly give a small clarification on how to understand different styles of MS treatment? Yes. Would fingolimod as a first DMT be an example of the escalation style? And if not, then what other style would it be? Well, Vlad, that's a super question. Thank you so much for watching the video and asking this question. So here comes an answer. Let's jump in. By way of review, let's discuss the escalation model for a second. The escalation style works like this. I start you off on a medicine which is low efficacy, but it's also very, very safe. And then we see how things go. And if you do well on that drug, well, then I'm a great doctor and you're a great patient and that's a great drug, yay! If things don't go well, don't fret, that's okay. We'll simply escalate to a medicine which is more effective but maybe less favorable from a side effect standpoint and then we'll see how things go. Real quick before we go on, do me a kind favor. If you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Those two actions are completely free and they teach the YouTube algorithm that you dig this content and help push it out so more people impacted by MS can benefit. Thank you. And on that second medicine, if you do great, well, then that's a great drug and I'm a great doctor and you're a great patient, hooray! But don't worry, if that doesn't work out, we can escalate yet again to a third medicine which is even more efficacious but maybe even less well tolerated. This is the escalation model, and the intention is to perfectly balance the risk-benefit. And I think it's bunk. I really dislike it quite a bit. And I made a lot of different videos where I share why I dislike the escalation model. And it's my opinion all too often, with the use of the escalation model, patients end up on lower efficacy medicines and having disease activity in developing disability. So I personally don't adhere to it. But that was not the question asked. Vlad asked, hey, if you start someone on Jelenia, is that using the escalation model? And the answer is probably. So the most traditional way of thinking about the escalation model is to start with the lowest efficacy medicine. So that might be like a shot, like Copaxone or Avonex. And then if the person had breakthrough disease on that shot, escalating to a pill, maybe like Jelenia. In this example, however, Vlad's asking, what if you skip the injections and you start with a pill like Jelenia? What does that equal? And in my mind, this is a style of escalation. You're starting not on the lowest tier of medicine, but a medium tier of medicine. Now, if you put the person on a medium tier of medicine like Jelenia and everything's dandy like candy, great. Then you're a good doctor and they're a good patient and that's a great drug, hooray. But if things don't work out, then we will escalate past Jelenia onto something that works better, presumably a monoclonal antibody like natalizumab or ocrelizumab or almtuzumab or something like that. In, in this example, we certainly can consider starting fingolimod Jelenia as the entry to an escalation model. And you might ask the question, well, is that something that I do in my practice? And my answer is not often. I really do think Jelenia is a lovely medicine, particularly as it relates to decreasing relapses and decreasing new MRI lesions, but it leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion, as it relates to slowing disability progression. As a result, I am not inclined to start patients on S1P1 receptors like Jelenia because I'm looking for a drug that has better efficacy related to progression. As a result, 
I don't use the escalation model and I don't start with Jelenia, I would rather start with a more efficacious monoclonal antibody. Now, does that make me right? No, it just makes me really, really opinionated. But I'm delighted to be able to share that opinion with you and I'm delighted to answer Vlad's question. The most impactful way that you could support this channel is by watching another video. So if you'd like to up your game and learn more about MS, definitely click the video that's on your screen right now. Until my next Monday morning video or until my next monthly live stream, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.